10 at 10. Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Dalford Jones is off for the evening. A Grand Coteau police officer in the spotlight has officially been fired. The city council unanimously voted to terminate him from the department last night. This marks the fourth time he has been fired from a police agency in Acadiana. His firing comes nearly two weeks after the officer threatened to file a lawsuit against the city. Newston Britt Lafaso joins us now in the studio to explain what led up to his termination. Britt. Hey, Darla, Sam Tizano was initially fired in late November after he threatened to sue the town. The city council instead placed him on administrative leave until they could discuss it in a council meeting. Just last night, the council made his termination official and that lawsuit. It still is yet to be filed. And the council of Grand, the town council of Grand Coteau, uh, voted to, uh, to fire him. So he's no longer a uh, employee of the Grand Coteau Police Department. Grand Coteau Assistant Police Chief Michael Buck is currently leading the department as Police Chief Jeffrey Carl Gilbo is on administrative leave after being arrested for malfeasance in office and obstruction of justice in July. It was Assistant Chief Buck who initially fired Officer Sam Tizano. Uh, Mr. Tizano had, had uh, become what's called timed out in police work where uh, he had not attained a post certification and could no longer work and be insured by the town's insurance. In a News 10 investigation, we learned Tizano had also been fired from Opelousas Police and St. Martinville Police. Despite this, Tizano's attorney claimed town officials mistreated Tizano and Assistant Chief Buck fired him for being a whistleblower for the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office. You've worked for six different police agencies in the last six years, fired from three of them. You're also not post-certified, which means you do not have wait, the authority. Wait, wait. The reason he's not post-certified is because of Michael Buck playing ball games. These are allegations Buck says have no truth. At that particular time that this incident went on, I was not employed with the Grand Control Police Department anymore. I had left in January and returned uh, after this incident, so it had, it had nothing to do with me. While Tezano's attorney threatened a federal lawsuit, the Grand Coteau City Council placed Tezano on administrative leave until they could hold a meeting. On Tuesday, Tezano was fired. At the uh, December 12th council meeting, I recommended that Mr. Tezano, a dispatch at our department, be dismissed from the police department because of his actions that were not conducive to good police work. As of this afternoon, Tezano's attorney has yet to file that federal lawsuit. He claimed it would be filed in the Lafayette Federal Court last week. News 10 reached out to the attorney multiple times today, but we have not received a response. Britt LaFosso, Caleb Wine, News 10.